like where, where where the world's headed next is like like it, everything's being ran through the AI right now. So like when they say like we ran like the train system through AI and it gets uh, rebuilt and, 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 and the AI rebuilt the whole train structure system like 10 times more efficient, whatever, 100 times more efficient, whatever it is. OK, when we start putting that kind of data into a, and you got to think the whole train system for like a city, that's a lot of computing power to be able to process and we'll say quickly, you know, like, and it's not just coming out like the old school porn or it's just like, but you know, that's yeah. what exists. Uh huh? huh? The train system is already computerized. Already computerized, but like how it's set up and built right now is inefficient. And that's where, yeah. that's where, that's where the AI comes in and says, you guys built this wrong. Right. They go, we know. Right. So this is where you have to rebuild all Except cities. When they so it doesn't matter. So it doesn't, my point here is whatever cities have been built right now, expect those to crumple and collapse in order for in order in yeah. order in order for rebuild to happen so either yeah. a either a new land gets developed right so like like um either like uh like it, it'd be really convenient in that situation by the way if it's cleared land so like all the farmland that won't be needed because like you know just i just can imagine if things are done more efficiently and like, you can you can save a lot of space on things and if things are like consolidated better, yeah, you could do it. That. You're, you're telling me useless information. Right, but like, everybody knows this. The problem I, my is, point is, like, I guess, it's already in place. Right, cities are 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 made to to old cities. Old cities, yeah. Well, Philadelphia, most well, Boston. They just rebuilt. They just built up Denver to, to literally fail. Denver's not an old city. I did. I mean, for where it was to where it is, it dude. That was like it's not an old city. But it, there was a boom over like we'll say t oh, like that's fifteen. Years yeah, ten, or so. fifteen years or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. That's not an old right, city though. Right. So to me though is like the infrastructure is not capable of handling that. Right. So when you or give Denver's? that, yeah, the, the the traffic there, I don't know how you have a job. I don't. I don't understand. I. I can't. If you actually had to be at like to work like forty five minutes away, like I don't know how you survive. Know, you really haven't driven much in big cities. I, I'm sure. You've never lived in Chicago. Live. No. Don't talk, no, don't no, talk no, no, no. 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 Never no. lived in Chicago. You never lived in L. A. No. You've never lived in New York. You never lived in. Boston. No. No. Go without you. I can go on. Yeah. No. Those train systems. By the way, no, no, those no, no, no trains. I know. Roads. I'm saying, but like the Roads. cities, the cities that run off of trains. Detroit. Yeah, but nothing. the but the cities that yeah nothing. Cleveland, nothing. Nothing. That. Nothing. But like the, when you when you have a city that runs off of trains and everything's time oriented and time based, you know that's where like having AI involved with like everything, just like the. The building of the structure of like you know from point A to point B and having that be efficient and like that, that's where it's like everything we have right now isn't gonna work and we have to do we have to rebuild everything so this is where it's like it's it's almost better for everybody to like leave the city so it can be rebuilt or mm -hmm. or like move to cities or just like renovating a or house. or everybody move to the city just like renovating a house Zach you move out right you got the house you right back to where you want right. A1, top of the line, way to go. Right. However, can't inconvenience that many people because people won't do it. People have a will. And people's will. Well, you could do it. Them. You could do it in theory, by the way, if you in could provide. Theory, it doesn't help. Well, no. So, so say, say Detroit. Detroit right now, right? If you were to turn uh, the largest building there. Ren Center. Okay, so the Ren Center. Um, if you were to turn that into a uh, into an apartment complex, uh, if that's even possible, uh, like w would that like or even like an apartment like like a whole apartment instead of businesses because I don't even think the businesses fill up that that building. Am I correct? I don't know if the building's full or not, but it's all businesses. No, right, I know it's, it's no residential. It's yeah, no residential, but it's like like how many more people could you fit into that area and then make like a shopping plaza versus you know the the small amount of business that's made there and then like yeah it's just like you need like a couple different like you needed like multiple rents and like sized buildings you know so if you could have like six rent center sized buildings in detroit move everybody into these like allocated areas for less like how you say that move everybody like we're willing you think i'd be willing to go hey i know they're going to redo my city i'm going to pack my shit up i'm going to move to Floor twenty seven. You specifically, I agree with this. Me and a million other people. Right, right, right. I'm not talking really about Livonia specifically. Not Livonia. So let me finish my statement, okay? 
Because I'm talking about the rest of the people that aren't living comfortably, okay? You know, the ones that don't have, you know, a dog eating chicken tonight, okay? I'm talking about the people that are struggling out there. Because there's a lot. Huh? Let me finish. Right, let me finish. Let me finish, okay? Let me finish. Just let me finish, okay? So if we had a Ren Center size building, right, that has, like, accommodations, like, we'll say, like, Walmart, you know, Kroger... It has like everything, everything in that building. Because Ren Center is pretty much an all-in-one inclusive environment. You could literally have your gym there. Mm. You could, you could you have, everything. you could do everything there. So it would literally there be. Are places like that. Right I now. understand this. There's, there's people. There's places like this in Detroit. They're just very small communities. They're very. There's places like this outside of Detroit. There are large communities, and they exist. Not the size of Ren Center. I don't know how big. You know, that's I guess what I'm you trying know? to say. My, so that's my, and they're not built like. like how a, big is that one? That one city in uh, Columbus. I don't remember the name of it, but there's a whole city inside Columbus. Like in the, uh, in, a in a building, you mean? It's a, no, it's not a building, it's buildings. No, I'm talking like, so when you have it in a building and shipping comes into one spot, you then get all the yeah, food. All the shipping comes into one spot. It's, it's like a, uh, it, it, the best example I can give, like an army base. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. But it's not one building. Yeah. But other than the living quarters, everything else is centralized. Right. Yeah, what's wrong with that? There's nothing. That's what I'm literally trying that's, to say. That's what we do here in Livonia. Mm. My my grocery stores in Livonia. Right. My hardware stores in Livonia. Right. So my I guess my point is in Livonia. Too far away. Well, that's for you. But I'm saying my point here is to be the will of the people. I understand the will of the people, but when you start looking at like, all right, what's more important, your freedoms of being able to burn diesel at the rate that you want, you know, mm -hmm. or recognizing the amount of like ecological waste that is caused. Are you asking me personally or are you asking this hypothetically for the world? Uh, I, I'm saying for you personally. For me personally, whatever I want is most important. I right. Am, I am an American. So when I'm you multiply, when you multiply your decisions by how many people are in, on, in America, right? If they are like a couple billion or something like that. No. How, how many people in America? Hundreds of millions, but not billions. Okay, three hundred million or say or something. Sure. I, don't, I don't know. You know how many people in America? So when you multiply that decision and by you can't, and you can't just now, you're starting to talk numbers though. But when you say how many people it includes babies, so babies when, aren't making decisions. Right, and I and I'm not talking about like so like this isn't like an abortion thing. This is like a limited resource well, that we. About abortion, I, I know, but like this is like a limited resource. It's like, hey, we need to make this change or else. 332 million. 332 million. Okay. So take half of that and, and maybe even less than half and say that that's the only portion. We'll say 33. We'll say 33% is responding the same way that you are. No, I'm saying take half of that because half of that 332 million are capable or legally allowed to make those decisions. Okay. But let's just say 33% are yeah. responding the way that you are. Okay. So let's just say a, a, thir million. a third, 100 million. So if a hundred million people are all deciding to hammer down on the gas pedal, right, and and waste extreme amounts of valuable mm -hmm. resource, like at the cost of freedom, okay, it's it's like at what point do you recognize the amount of responsibility and destruction that's being caused? Okay. It's like it when you when you when somebody convinces me, I love this country because I have the right to do, to go to that voting booth and say I want cars. I want gas. You're right. This isn't so, this isn't like, an, like this isn't something that you build a uh, a law against where you take someone's rights and freedoms away. This is like a conscious decision of saying like, okay, like you you have two choices, okay? And this is how I look at it. It's like you should have two choices. Either A, you can hammer down on the gas tank all you want, you know, or you can be more like e efficient, you know? And to be more efficient, just one of the ways you could do that would be living closer to CVS so you don't have to drive to it. You take the elevator down and go to it. You know, and that's where you're starting to use more like allocated power and using like we'll say like like electrical or coal energy versus like, you know, the gas power is when you take the elevator down to CVS and Kroger and 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 by the way, you did it all from your phone app, ordered everything that you're looking for, and you're getting the best quality foods you've ever got. You're, you're, you're rambling on with the idea, and the answer is, I don't want that. So I voted out. But one day Mark Weber dies, and you know who comes up behind me? The younger voters. And they might vote it in. And that's why I said autonomous vehicles are a decade, if not decades, away. 
because I have to die off. My world has to die off before any. That is happens. not true. Well, I'm telling you this. Because my generation will not allow it. How do you? How do I what? How, how do you. Recognizing the amount of destruction. This is key right there. When you, see, you always do this. You do this. So often I could just, I could put tick marks down and charge a dollar for each one, I'd be rich. You always start your theories with your assumption. And the assumption is inaccurate. Therefore, your theory is completely ignored. It's you actually a with your assumption that, that I don't remember. Recognizing the, Recognize the destruction. But I don't believe that the destruction that they're talking about is actually happening. Nor do we I have believe. A... Nor do I believe that the solution is what they're recommending. So knowing that we have a finite resource, being gasoline and diesel, diesel being one of the the, yeah. the resources that's actually being limited right now. Yep. Yeah. Well, it's not being limited by the earth. It's closely it's being limited by Joe Biden and the Democrats. Okay. There's no problem down in Saudi Arabia. They're, they're pumping it by the trillions. But when you take your, it's like saying there's no water. In Livonia. I said, why do you say that? You say, I went to my dad's house. I turned the faucet on and nothing came out. Well, that's because your dad turned the water off. Oh, so all you need to do is turn the water on and I can have water? Yeah. All we need to do is turn our production back on in America. That doesn't... Go down, production goes up and we start making money. Limited not... resource. It is limited in the sense that it is not forever. So, it's not limited in so recognizing time. it's a limited resource, okay, and that you, you like you can't keep pumping it at the rate that you're pumping. It's like it's like you saying that I can't keep giving you money at the rate that you're giving, right? Right, right. right. Agree, same concept, agree, right? same it's a concept. Limited resource. So limited resource, right? So yeah. when you recognize it's a limited resource, and you say that okay, changes need to happen, okay. You're telling me that, like, you would rather create a chaotic like situation, which is running out of gas and, like, people, like, you know, having to, like, fight the system versus just, like, building something that's more efficient. And it's, like, that's where it's, like, you, you got to work together to, to, you, to, to change what's, I mean, yeah, if you could literally pick your house up and stack it ten times, then it would be more efficient. Right, but for, I wouldn't want that. Right. It's not it, that's only because of your preconditioned. So let me finish this. So so if you're if you're two generations down the line living in that scenario, it would be natural. So because it's not natural to you But you know who lives like that? Actually a lot of high Asians. rollers. Actually a lot of high rollers. So like when, when, when you look at no. like when you look at penthouses and like up in, like when you look at the penthouse That's totally different. No, when you look at a penthouse they have two they have two uh, story penthouses like, mm -hmm. like stacked in, 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 yeah, I know, I you know, know, you know what else they have? <clears throat> 17 different homes they haven't even visited yet. Right. But, but like, not to mention the seven that they have. I, I, I mean, you just have to understand they that. They want to each. You can't talk about the one and not the others. Right. So like when you talk about being an American and what's best for like, like the country, one of the things that's best for the country is, is I hate to say, it, but saving our, our natural resources and not like spending them as fast as we can. So and that's what like 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 I, I hate to say it, but we are spending resources at an unreasonable rate. Yeah. Unreasonable. And well, we're not we're not replacing them fast well, enough. This is hell. Right. So it's like when you look at that, you can you, you can say that like that's that's not a productive way of business. And then when you look at how much money like other countries are making, we'll just say off of us right now. Well, it's like not the other. Huh? No, it does. It does. So when you when you recognize that every time you hammer down, the only people profiting from that, though you feel good, are the sheiks, are the people like that that that, that literally pay for the the, the you, car. You let me finish. Right there, let me finish. You're, let me finish. You're only talking about today, right? That's because the Democrats. No, it's because down. they own the oil. Okay, uh, because the Democrats shut down American production. Right for a pretty good reason. So no, I'd rather, reason. I would rather, I would rather pay. No, I would rather pay. You I would rather. Good reason? Yeah, yeah. I can, right. I can tell you right. I can tell you right. I would rather pay the three. No, to, that's not the reason. Let me finish. Let me finish. Okay. I can tell you why. I would rather pay right now 
the three to four dollars that it costs to get it shipped. All, I mean, you got to think of how much they're taking into the this situation. They're paying the logistics. They're paying for the ships. Yeah, let, me, let me finish, okay? I so the, the, they're, they're paying for all of it to get over here, mm -hmm. and that's in the costs of everything, right? While we're saving what's rest of our depleted. So they've got plenty. We'd rather pay the little dollar more extra. Dollar more, and we're not willing to. Whether, so when in 10 years... How much money we'll save by saving the reserves that we have now? How much money worth like that? Like how much money the oil will be worth in ten years is going to be so much in gains. It's 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 enough to to change the economic you course think of that's history. Why going, Jake? Yeah. You think so? Yeah. So why are they pushing to go to close and and, and delete all fossil fuel? Because they want to save that for what's like They're actually needed. They're, they're no, because 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 I can tell you because They're stopping the production. So the only thing that that we don't have right now is uh, the minerals needed for the batteries um, for every electric. So those minerals are mined in different countries and mostly that's off. The only thing we don't have. Huh. That's the only thing. We that's don't one have. of the major things. That, that's the. You just said the only. That's one of the major reasons why we don't have like uh, electric is right right now is, is the, the minerals that we have to get for this. Not the only reason. We'll just say lithium, it may okay? Be a reason, but it's not the only we'll just say lithium. So lithium, uh, it specifically comes from other countries. We don't we don't mine it like that. So that's one of our biggest issues is it comes from other countries. So like, the the materials needed for electric are are an issue. Okay, so it, that's that's a big issue of like how to get them and how to get them like not through slave labor. But like when it comes to like our natural resources, saving them for business and infrastructure, that's like that's in case the the electric grid goes down, our country will be able to survive. If we deplete that, then we now have a limited resource. So I would rather reserves. Yeah, I would rather. I would you rather. Understand our oil reserves have other reasons for that too. Right. It's for war as well. Right. Right. So so tell me why Joe Bi Joe Biden has shrunk our oil reserves by thirty three percent. With no plan on ever putting it back. You mean like he sold off 33% is what you're saying? He took 33% and used it. On what? Some of it went to foreign countries. Some of it, a lot of it went to Ukraine for the war. And a lot of it went here to try to drop the gas prices right before the election. Like just happened recently? Like you don't know this. No. no. This is one of the biggest stories out there. Which just are, recently happened? He's only been in for two years. He's done it two or three times. He's tapped the oil reserves. It's supposed to go through Congress as as a part of the act of war uh -huh. for defense and or and or country emergency. You know what he called an emergency? We're losing the midterms. People are upset. People I mean, are, people are calling for my head. So he went into the reserves. This is one of the biggest topics on TV on on the news. Is Joe Biden depleting our reserves? Look it up. Google it. I understand. So, so I'll say we took a we took a, a heck I'm of a hit. I'm telling you, this guys are not. But that's not. Yeah, that's that's, not, that's besides the point. But but nonetheless. So it's like so it's a, it's a, it's up to us as Americans to clean up the mess that we put in office. I'll say it. So at that point, like I so all of us did, all so of us. They, so so wait, instead wait, of so so with that, why did they why did the Democrats? Okay. By the way, the Democrats have not won yet, Louise. Okay. But now they're down to Georgia only, and. That's likely to be won by the Democrats. So let me finish this one, okay? Instead of instead of instead of complaining about the thirty three percent that we've lost, why don't all of us as Americans drive thirty three percent less and recover the deficit? You so it's, you can. You cannot. Absolutely. No, because they're not putting anything back in. Right, we can at least recover rather than break even. How? How do you recover it? By driving 33% less over the next All year. All that does is use less Arab oil. Okay. It doesn't put anything back in the reserves. It, it, it's, it's just like me. I go to the bank. I go to my savings account. I have $1,000. I put transfer 500 to Zach, and I have 500 left in the bank. I'm still spending my money. You go, oh, spend less. It's still not replacing that. I've got to replace that 500 somehow. You can't replace it with your own money. You have to bring something else in to replace it with. I can't replace the oil reserves by driving less. I just use less of the Arab money. So it's like me saying, Zach, let me give you $500. Maybe spend it slower. Then I won't, then it, then it won't hurt my bottom line. 
Yeah, you're still 500 short in your bank account, Dad. I'm just going to less. You won't have to hit your bank account again. But it's not helping the reserves. Reserves are down. Now we go to war. We don't have enough gas to, to put in our tanks. Valid point. It was this this whole push away from fossil fuel. It's an excellent game plan. On paper, it's fantastic. Well, it's not. But it is not ready for... I want to say it's perfect on paper it's because not, there's a lot of issues. Yet, and he's doing shit. There's a lot of issues with, with even with, with, with trashing. We'll just say solar panels specifically, right? I'll give you a perfect example. You I'll give you... No, I'll give you... the farm. No, well, solar panels. You decide you're going to get a farm. Mm -hmm. First thing you do is you buy... I don't know. I, I don't even know how it's seeds. Bushels of seeds. Ten acres. Ten acres and you buy bushels of seed. Sure. But you don't have the farm yet. So you just go... Yeah, but it was a great deal, so I'm buying bushels of seed, so I'll never run out. They're sitting in the garage. Five, six, ten years later, you finally buy a farm. You go to get your seed. What's wrong with it? It's old. It's destroyed. It's dried up. It's ruined. It's got bugs, whatever. And somebody says, why didn't you buy seed ten years ago? Why didn't you wait to get a farm? That's what they're saying with Biden. Why did you do? Why did you shut down fossil fuel before the electric cars were ready? You just cut us off completely. And he says, oh, I got an idea. We got plenty of fuel. Like this is a guy that, that I mean, clearly is not in his right.